So there's there's going to be two ways to access the system. Somebody that goes online and purchases an annual membership, um, when they do that, they're actually going to get a card that they would carry with them that allows them to bypass paying with a credit card at the kiosk. Um, when you have this, you can just walk up to any bike in a station, you wake the dock, wave the card, there's an RFID chip in the card that recognizes your membership, and then it'll the bike will check out. When you're done with your trip, you can either return it to the same station or to a station nearest your destination. You just merely dock the bike, it'll beep three times and your trip closes. Um, now, if you're wanting to use the bike but don't have a membership, you can just walk up to any station uh, with your credit card. You would swipe your credit card, go through the prompts on the kiosk, um, enter your phone number so we can send you text messages about your trips and billing information. Um, and then basically you'll select a bike, the bike will release from the dock, you check it out, um, adjust the seat, um, and then take it off for your, for your trip. Um, we basically think of bike share as a way to get around from point A to point B for short trips. So for both annual member and for walk-up user, generally the pricing works that the first 30 minutes of every trip you take are included. Um, and if you go longer than 30 minutes, there's an overtime usage rate. So um, it varies from city to city, but it's basically a way to encourage people to, rather than lock the bike up and leave it, just put it in another station. That way somebody else can go up and use that bike when, when it's not being ridden.